Welcome everybody to Rare World Coins. Hopefully you're getting some good, uh, valuable information and in collecting world coins and U.S. coins as far as what type of coins to collect and what you're looking for as far as grading. And of course, the three things I emphasize is appeal, scarcity, and demand. So with all those three uh, within your collection, normally you should be able to get a nice valuable coin. And in the future, as you continue to hold the coin, uh, you should get a good return on your investment. Uh, what we have here today is a coin from New Zealand. This is a 1942 three pence. Uh, this is a one dot variety. This is graded NNC 64. Uh, as I mentioned to you before in my previous videos, uh, please, uh, when you do get coins that are slab, buy the coin, not the slab. Okay, because everybody has an opinion on grading. Unless, you, you know, the grader can guarantee their grades. There's only two reputable dealers or third-party grading company that is pretty accurate. That's NGC or PCGS. But even they tend to either overgrade or undergrade once in a while. So buy the coin, not the slab. As we look closer on this particular coin, this is a scarce coin. This is a nice 1942 three pence. It has some irregular tonings on the coin and on the head, as you can see here, but the coin has very nice luster. So what you wanna be sure is you have pretty much a very a coin that has this luster and as minimum uh, distraction as possible on the coin. So overall, a very nice coin. And noted here, the toning on the hairline and on the front of the coin, but overall a very nice lustrous feel and luster on the face. On the reverse, you have looked like a couple of clubs here. It says New Zealand. 3D, and like I said, this is in 1942. You have one dot here, and normally there is another dot after the two. And of course, this one is missing the dot. This is a scarcer coin. And noted here that uh, you have nice detail on these clubs with nice full luster on the field. So this is a very nice uncirculated coin. This is something that you will want to look for. Normally, these uh, coins are so small, but they do see a lot of circulation. And so finding one in nice uncirculated as this is an exceptionally rare coin. And the detail is very nice, full luster. And like I said, is missing the dot right after the two. So this is considered the one dot. So very nice, scarcer date with a very small mintage. And a lot of these coins are normally seen circulated. So finding one in uncirculated is a very nice prize. Beautiful coin. Again, on the others, a very nice coin with just some slightly toning on the, on the face and in front of the head, but overall nice luster. So this is what you are always looking for is to be sure that you have the luster that indicate that the coin has not been circulated and this one here has all that indication for you definitely a nice highly demand coin especially for the one dot and something that maybe you want to consider collecting so if you're looking for the three pence at 1942 look in the back and hopefully if you do find the one dot definitely you will have a, a nice coin for your collection a lot of these coins are missed and everybody thinks they're, they're normal 1942 but if it has only one dot you have a very nice scarce variety so again Look for the missing dot right after the two, and hopefully you will find the right one and then be able to afford it 
and add that coin to your collection. Hopefully this information is of value to you. And if you collect New Zealand coins, the 1942 one dot is a very popular coin. And so adding that to your collection definitely will enhance your collection. And if it's time for you to sell in the future, you know, that's a nice variety to have. Uh, if you like the information I provided along with the video, uh, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and I will have more videos coming. Thank you very much.